Hey babes, what's up? I'm Miss Mila Rose and welcome back to my channel. Because there are so many new subscribers to my channel and my channel is a growing family, I wanted to put out something that would help you get to know me a little bit better. So I put together 50 questions for me to answer on camera for you guys. So you're about to find out a lot of personal information and some story times that I otherwise would not be sharing with you guys. So let's get right into these 50 questions. Question number one, what is your zodiac sign? Now, I know that my zodiac sign technically would be a Cancer, but my birthday on all of my accounts is actually fake. So my zodiac sign is actually a Leo, but I was born at like 1 in the morning right after Cancer season. So I honestly consider myself half Cancer and half Leo, which is a disaster for any of you guys who follow zodiac signs because that's literally a water and a fire element. Question number two, what is your nationality? I am a Canadian and I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. Number three, name all of the cities you've lived in. So I was born and raised in Toronto, in Etobicoke, and then I moved to Vancouver for college. And from there, I moved to Tamuning, Guam, which is an island in the middle of nowhere. It's not even listed on a lot of maps. And then I moved to Bremerton, Washington in the United States, and then Silverdale. From there, I moved to Albuquerque in New Mexico. I am no longer in Albuquerque, in New Mexico, but I am still in the state. What are the names of your current pets? So I have two dogs. I've had my first dog for a couple years now. She's an Australian Shepherd. Her name's Candy. She's so cute. And everyone tells me her name's a stripper name. I know. I didn't name her. She was actually named by the breeder, and I just never decided to change her name. And then I got a second dog this summer, and her name was Bubble, but I added an S, like the Powerpuff Girls Bubbles. <laughs> So her name's Bubbles and that's another stripper name, but I didn't really name her still. So I have two dogs. She, the second one's an Australian Shepherd mixed with a Basset Hound. And they both have stripper names. <laughs> Question number five, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red, although I really do like purple as well. Question number six, what is your favorite season? I love summer. I was a summer baby, I was born in the summer, and I hate the cold. Question number seven, what is your favorite holiday? Probably Christmas because a lot more goes on around that time. There's generally a lot more sales and it's just, it feels so festive compared to every single other holiday in the year. So I'd have to say Christmas because it just feels like the most legitimate holiday. Question number eight, which element best represents you? I really associate myself with a fire sign because I'm a Leo, but I do have a lot of characteristics of water sign because of my cancer side. So both of those elements really represent me. I feel like I'm more drawn towards fire and the Leo signs though. If you're not into zodiac signs, I'm really sorry if I'm boring you. <laughs> Question number nine, what is your worst habit? My worst habit is probably biting and picking at my lips. I don't know if you can see, but even last night, I actually picked my lip to the point where it was bleeding. I do this excessively and I do this constantly. I'm always applying lip gloss to repair the damages that I do to myself. I do it out of stress and anxiety. I deal with anxiety like 100% of the time. I've been to therapy for this. Will I get medication? No, because you actually have to get diagnosed to get prescription drugs for anxiety. And when I did go to my therapist, she said the appointment to get an official diagnosis was $400. I wasn't gonna pay that much just for a diagnosis and then I'll have to pay the medication on top of that. Question number 10, what is your comfort food? I love, love ice cream and it's, it's really comforting to me. If I'm having a bad day, if I'm in a bad mood, I will love some ice cream and probably a bottle of wine too. Question number 11, what is your favorite movie? Favorite movie is Memoirs of the Geisha. I love Japanese culture. I really wish I could have experienced what it was like to be a geisha because I just think that's so fascinating. It is such a taboo world with not much information on it, honestly, because it is so secretive and they don't really talk about what goes on because that's very personal, what goes on in the actual geisha houses. That's probably my most watched movie of all time and I generally do not like watching movies more than once. Question number 12, what is your most the kissy face or the winky face? Question number 13, who was your first kiss? I was in eighth grade, I was pretty much a late bloomer, so I wasn't like the most desirable back in the day, and I actually had this one crush on this guy, and we were actually friends for a while, and then we actually had a school dance together, and then he asked me to be his girlfriend, and I accepted, and we only dated for like, a month or two, but we had our first kiss and it was honestly the most awkward thing ever. 
he would walk me part way home. And we got to this one intersection and he would cross the street and I would turn. And we usually would just hug goodbye and we'll see you tomorrow kind of thing. But I think it was like a Friday, he surprised me and he just like awkwardly like, <laughs> he just went for it. And it was just like a very quick pecky type kiss. It was nothing special, but it was very awkward. I remember that. And he was like, Oh, okay. Like, I was like, okay. That was great. That was, that was okay. And that, yeah, that was my first kiss. Really awkward, um, unplanned, at least on my part. Because question number 14, how many boyfriends have you had? I had to count this when I first initially wrote this question. I would say nine, but one of the guys on the list I only actually saw like three different times. And then another of these guys, They will say like you were lightly snoring or you were snoring really loud like that rarely happens I'm generally very very silent when I sleep question number 19. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do I definitely believe in them But if you ask me what ghost encounters or supernatural encounters that I've personally experienced I don't think I've had any really I mean there's a couple that I could say that may have been encounters But they're so uncertain to me that I can't really say for sure if that was or was not. So I'm just gonna say I haven't actually seen or experienced a ghost. But yes, I believe in them and I'm scared of them. Question number 20, what are you afraid of? Again, I'm afraid of ghosts, I'm afraid of the dark, and I'm also afraid of being alone. I'm also really scared of being abandoned. Because of my past, I actually have a deeply rooted abandonment issue type complex and I've actually experienced some separation anxiety at times as well, especially when I get really attached to people. If there's something that happens or something that clicks in my brain, like this person's gonna leave me, like I'm never gonna see this person again, I will clench up inside and I will just not be okay. And that also tends to make me push others away because in my head, psychologically, I'm like, okay, like they're gone and they're not coming back so I'm re-establishing the facts in my head well yeah like of course they're gonna leave you no one's gonna stay no one's gonna stick around for you that's also something I'm going to go into more in depth in my story time videos that I'm going to be releasing here on YouTube but that's a story time for another time and not in this video question 21 what is the one thing you want to overcome or conquer I want to be able to sleep normally I have an issue where I will stay up really late at night and I'll have trouble sleeping until late at night and then I'll wake up late because I'm sleeping in and then I'll just stay up later and later and later until I'm into these nocturnal sleeping patterns where I'm waking up at like 2 in the afternoon and going to bed at like 5 in the morning and even if I correct my sleeping schedule it'll be fixed for a certain amount of time and then I go back into the nocturnal sleeping habits slowly it just it happens and I just want to be able to sleep a good schedule. I want to be a morning person. I want to have a thing of coffee every single morning and just be able to have a certain routine and balance. I feel like because of my sleep issues, I can't have a balanced lifestyle. But that is definitely something that I would like to conquer is my sleeping habits and actually taking control of when I go to bed and when I wake up. 22, are you a tea or coffee drinker? Both, honestly. I used to be obsessed with herbs. I still kind of am. I love natural cures to things. I don't like medicine, like doctor prescription medicine. Like I do agree that that stuff's really, really strong and it's gonna do what you want it to do. But I also know that it's gonna come with other side effects that it's 
not good for your body like it's way healthier just to be healthy and herbs are really powerful things they have some really powerful components in them that can really help your body so i used to be a very avid tea drinker and I still love drinking tea. I still love the idea that it's really good for your body. Although habitually, I've been starting to drink a lot more coffee and a lot less tea. Question 23, do you prefer baths or showers? I prefer showers. They're quicker, they're easier, and they're just more convenient. You just step in, shower, it takes a few minutes, whatever, and then you get out. But baths are really relaxing and it's really nice to have a bubble bath every now and then, throw in a bath bomb and actually relax have some candles out, have a glass of wine, take care of yourself like that, ladies, like that is a really enjoyable experience. Have some like music playing in the background, spray some like aroma, oh my God. It's, it's fun, it's relaxing. I don't do it often because it's a lot of work to set up and I feel like I never have the time to treat myself anyway, but that is something that I really enjoy doing on the occasion. Question number 24, do you prefer swimming in pools or in the ocean? It depends for the most part. I prefer swimming in swimming pools simply because I find most oceans, unless you live in like Cuba, are not nice to swim in. A lot of them are polluted, a lot of them are dirty, a lot of the beaches are not nice to walk on. Like in Guam, all of the beaches were extremely rocky. Even the nicest ones, you would hurt your feet getting into the ocean. And depending on the ocean that you're actually swimming, Especially if you're a person that doesn't know that I'm in the adult industry, all of my bookmarks for all my clip sites and cam sites are on my browser, and then I have all my videos on my desktop in a folder that's under my name, so it's like, I don't want to expose myself by using my laptop, although if you already know I'm doing my laptop for legitimate reasons or whatever, for like just browsing the internet, I don't mind if I share it. One of them is definitely when you crack your nails. I hate hearing the bones, just ugh, it makes me cringe. Question number 34, which video games have you been addicted to? I've been addicted to League of Legends for years now, but I've also been addicted to Summoner's War. It's an app on your phone and it's such a good app to be honest but it can be really addicting because it's a very slow, grindy game. Question 35, what is one thing you've lied about? Oh boy, this is kind of embarrassing. So 
Working as a call girl, I actually had the occasional bottle of wine, maybe like in the evening, once or twice a week, I would get a bottle. And one of the nights, I actually spilt some of my wine, and it was a red wine on the bed, and it stained really bad. It went all the way through the sheets, and I was like, like, what am I supposed to do about this? I, I can't just unstain this. I don't even know how to remove a red, red, bright red stain from, I mean, pretty sure it's deep probably into the mattress. I felt terrible and I'm a really big klutz. It's pretty known and it's bad. So that's why it happened. So I changed the top sheet, but the bottom sheet I didn't change. I don't remember why. I honestly might have been being a bit lazy and that's why I didn't change it. I don't remember though. And then the next day, because all of the girls that were scheduled to work out of the apartment that day were just chilling in the living room until a call came up for them and then they would have their appointment in the bedroom and get set up there. So this one girl was using the room that I was staying in and she noticed the stain and she came out of the room and she's like, oh my god, like there's a red stain, like a wine stain on the bed. And she asked me if I did it and immediately without even thinking about it because I, I got so embarrassed that she noticed. I was like, no, it wasn't me. And that's super embarrassing, A. And B, I'm pretty confident, like 99.99% sure she knew it was me anyway. And I honestly immediately felt so bad for lying about it. I wanted to say the truth. I wanted to tell the truth and just own it. But I just immediately felt so embarrassed and ashamed by it. I mean, there's no excuse for lying, let's be real. But I am making an excuse right now about it because I was just so embarrassed that I just jumped to lie rather than the truth which honestly if I just told the truth I think I would have felt a lot better about myself and now I have to live with a regret that I lied about that when obviously she knew the truth so just just tell the truth about these stupid things girls like it's not worth telling stupid white lies it really isn't question 36 what was the most embarrassing thing that happened to you now that wasn't the most embarrassing thing that happened to me. Actually, I would say the most embarrassing thing that happened to me, at least at the time, and it bothered me for a few years after that, but I would say now it's like, eh. <laughs> but what happened was when I was in middle school, I must have been in like third grade. I'm pretty confident it was third grade. And it was really cold, it was snowy in Toronto, and I was wearing like snow pants and I, I had to take them off and put them in my locker at the start of school. So I was wearing two pairs of pants and then my underwear. So I was pulling down my pants, my snow pants, and I didn't even realize it, but I ended up pulling both pairs of my pants down and possibly even my panties down with it. My whole butt was exposed and I didn't even realize I did this until some girls behind me started laughing at me. And these were girls that were in my grade and one grade higher than me, so this was super embarrassing. There's something about being humiliated by someone that's in a higher grade than you that is much worse than being someone who's in a lower grade or the same grade as you. So that was really, really embarrassing for me at the time. I definitely got made fun of for a little bit for that and it's definitely something that stuck with me for at least a few years. Question number 37, how would you spend your ideal day? Ooh, I would really like a full body massage, a spa day, just get my nails done, get a massage, get like a facial, maybe like a head massage too. Oh my god, and then just go home and have a bottle of wine and just either play some video games or watch TV. longer to walk than to drive anywhere, let's be honest. So even though I prefer walking, I know it's not realistic to be able to do that everywhere I go, especially when you have to drive like 30 minutes. I mean, that walk is just not realistically doable. So I do prefer walking, but I generally won't do it. <laughs> Question number 39, where do you most want to travel that you've never been before? I would really, really like to go to Japan. I've been saying this for so many years that that is place that I want to go to. Some people 
people say that it counts. Like I had a layover in Japan, in Tokyo, to get to Guam. There are a lot of flights that go out of Japan to Guam. I'd either be flying from Hawaii or I'd be flying from Tokyo. So I've been to Hawaii and I've been to Tokyo, but I've only been there for layovers. I've never actually really experienced those places. Question number 40, have you ever self-harmed? Yes, but I've never actually been like a self-harmer. I've just tried it out once or twice. Question number 41, have you ever wanted a piercing you don't already have? Yes, I always wanted a belly button piercing. I don't know why, I just thought that it's really sexy on you know, stomachs. And I used to be really obsessed with becoming a size zero, and I thought that belly piercing is a size zero, which is super sexy. Question number 42, what is the physical feature you get confident on the most? That would definitely be my baby. Question number 43, would you rather be smart and ugly or dumb and beautiful? Definitely dumb and beautiful, but here's why. Girls that are super attractive can marry a really fluffy rich man who really wants to be a good girl. And then you can just be like a housewife. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get a job. You don't have to work. You don't have to actually have to try in life. You can just be like a chauffeur. That'd be amazing. Like, it would kind of suck to be an airhead, but like, you'd be such an airhead. You'd be so stupid that you would know that you're stupid. <laughs> so, honestly, I feel like life would be so good if you were dumb and beautiful and you just had like a sugar daddy. That's just my opinion. Question number 44. If your house was on fire and you had a chance to grab only five things before leaving, what would they be? I would definitely grab my two dogs. I would definitely grab my laptop. I would definitely grab my phone. And I would definitely grab my purse. So that's the five items I would grab. If I could grab a sixth item, that would be my camera because I use my camera like almost every single day. Question number 45. What would you do with an extra $1,000 to spend only on yourself? I would definitely pay for my extensions because I have a second set that I haven't put in yet and that'll cost more about six to seven hundred dollars with getting the extensions put in and possibly redoing some highlights and the haircut for layering when the hair is put in. Question number 46. If you weren't in the profession you're in now, what would your dream job be and why? My dream job would definitely be 3D animation and modeling because that's what I actually went to college for and got my degree for before I entered the adult industry. Question number 47. Would you ever want to be famous? No, honestly, no. I would hate having paparazzi. I would hate having all of my personal information out on the internet because because people are stalking me on the streets taking pictures and actually finding out what I do in my personal life. I would feel such an invasion of privacy and I honestly feel so bad for celebrities because of paparazzi and all this stuff. It's not a life that I would be happy living. It's not something I would prefer. Question number 48. Have you ever met someone famous? I might have, but like not really have met, just saw in person, potentially. <laughs> So when I was shopping with my mom at a Walmart like years ago, I was in middle school at this time, I didn't even really know who Avril Lavigne was. I didn't even listen to music really until I was like in seventh grade. There was two girls in front of us and they were listening to like a radio with earbuds or something like that. And they started getting really excited over something and I, I don't know what it was, but these girls were in the checkout lineup right in front of me, my mom. And then there was another lady with her daughter behind us as well. And then we went to go into an elevator after we made our purchase and the people that were behind us also went with us. And in the elevator, my mom and the other lady were just like, was, was that Avril Lavigne? So she either looked a lot like her or we thought she was her, but she wasn't her. But she could have easily have been her because again, I was in Toronto and it would have made sense for her to start freaking over about something on a radio, like if her, if her song was being played or something like that, I don't know. Question number 49, would you prefer to win the lottery or find your perfect job? I would definitely prefer to find my perfect job. Like winning the lottery would be awesome and all, and I don't think anyone passed that opportunity down in a heartbeat ever. But there's something to it that when you work really hard and you get paid, it's very satisfying. Satisfying. If you won the lottery, it just, I don't know, yeah, I guess it'd be satisfying, but like, you could be bored. You could be really bored and like, you'd spend the money, but like, I don't know. I think I'd really prefer to just work and be happy with that. Just be really happy in the perfect job. Question number 50, what would be your future career choice? This is actually something I've already kind of decided on. I don't know if it's ever gonna take off. I don't know if I'm ever really gonna get into it, but I think it would be really, really cool to do like house flipping or house design, something like that. I've seen a lot of the house flipping show 
and it just looks like it's a lot of work it looks like a lot of work but it just looks so rewarding and you get to be artistic with it too because you're designing it you're you're figuring out like what looks good what's gonna sell whatever and i love working with my hands i love hands-on projects so maybe in like 10 years from now you're gonna actually start seeing me do some of that at least like my first project but yes that concludes the 50 questions that i've written down that i've answered for you guys here on youtube so i hope all of you guys feel like you know me a little bit better and that i'm not so much of a stranger here on youtube because i know that i don't really talk about myself much it's mostly just about what goes on in the adult industry and that's it so if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the notifications on down below if you want to see more of my content. And like I said, I do have two brand new Cam Girl Guide series videos coming out here on YouTube in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that because they're coming out really soon. Bye for now. Till next time.